This is about professional dignity. It's about patient care. It's about patient advocacy. We're here for our patients. We're here for a working environment. We're here to take care of the community. And this hospital has just bust in 800 staffs from all over the country are here for $10,000 a week. It's going to cost them in two weeks what it would take to settle the contract for the next four years. Are we here for money? No! We're here for what? Patient care! About one week before the strike was scheduled to begin, the union and the hospital sat down for one last bargaining session. Once again, the union brought up the issue of the gag clause. Temple would not speak about it and would only say that if we want our constitutional rights, we need to go somewhere else. This is unacceptable and proves what we've been saying all along, that this strike is not about money, it's about our rights. Okay. Do you support the strike? I do. You do. Myself. And why, why are you willing to go that far? Because Temple is trying to take things that other hospitals have in general and just not in the contract. They have freedom of speech and they can speak and advocate for their patients and it's not a part of their contract and they're trying to prevent us from being able to do it by putting the wording in our contract. Right, okay. And what, what do you think their main goal is? Like what do you think is to on their agenda? The to break the union. Uh, they just wanted to gut everything. Now on, you know, saving the union we want 100% of everything. They were really out uh, to not only censor us but to, you know, give up the union shop, give up, you know, all of our union rights, separate the technical employees from the nurses' employees. They would be in two different, you know, contract expiration dates, but it gave us no power. Um, all of those demands were up there until the day of the strike, and they kept them there. They were serious about them. And, you know, at the end of the strike, they were all gone. We were able to keep our unity, uh, keep our free speech rights, uh, keep the union strong. That was a great victory. Another thing was this tuition benefit that had been going back here at Temple for many years that, you know, your dependents could attend Temple um, and get remission or a reduced rate at different universities. This is something they took away, um, you know, about a year before the strike uh, illegally. Um, they abruptly took the tuition remission away from me last year. Um, I have two sons here at Temple, and it was a big assistance. That was one of the reasons why I came to Temple. After we won that, they opened it up for everybody. So from a janitor to a manager, everybody is now eligible for that uh, tuition credit, which is great. Strong unions that are willing to fight for their members are rapidly disappearing from the American workplace. Oh. And left behind are people who have forgotten what it means to be respected. So that is why this strike is so important. We cannot allow Temple to become yet another graveyard for workers' rights. My brothers and my sisters. I'm from the NAACP. And I want you to know that we're with you. And I want you to know also, we're going to win! We're going to win! We're going to win! We're going to win! For you guys who don't know me, uh, my name is Bill Gall. I'm the president of Local 22 Firefighters Union here in Philadelphia. Today I'm here to support you not simply because I'm union officer. I'm here because I'm a citizen. I'm a parent. And I'm here with a simple plea for understanding and fairness. To all temple nurses and support personnel, technicians and all of you, yeah. I have a simple message. Your strike is our strike. Yeah. This operation down. So what do you think actually helped us the most in winning? All of us outside. Temple never expected for 
to have as many people outside and they also never expected to have as many people stay on strike for that long of a time period. Um, to have more than 94% outside, that was significant to them. They thought that they were going to have more people go in and it didn't happen. They thought that our picket lines wouldn't be strong and they were. They thought that our solidarity was going to falter and it never did. What would you like to say to all, to all your co-workers who stood in there and, you know, did um, it? I think that I am the most proud of them, especially when I saw them walking in the rain on the rally on April 21st, and we covered the whole entire four corners of Temple. That was the most proud moment that I have ever had, and I don't think that all of that was rain that was on my face that day. Mm -hmm. Solidarity forever!